Hello, I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this video, I'm going to give you a look at a rooted pen digital Nova. So, I already did the review for the regular Nova, but I went ahead uh, the last couple of days and rooted it and installed the uh, Android Market and some Google apps onto it. So, um, I have the directions actually over on my site here. Uh, I just followed directions at Slateroid and then I sort of rewrote them and set everything up so that it's a little easier to follow. Uh, it, the process is actually really easy to root and then install the Google apps. The only side effect that I experienced that's not good is the my home button for some reason no longer works. So other people on Slate Roy have mentioned that uh, their process has gone smooth. So I don't know, uh, nobody else has mentioned the home button not working thing. So I don't know how I got stuck with that. But that's the only thing that I, so far that I don't like that uh, seems to have not worked right. Um, but so I installed these button savior over here. So if I want to go home, I hit that button. Uh, so that was kind of a workaround I uh, applied to this. Uh, so yeah, I installed the Android market and then went ahead and put in the new market and it's got all the search results. I even got Netflix to show up on here. So yeah, Netflix e it even works. Uh, like I said in the original review, the, the volume doesn't sync up quite right though. It's like half a second off, which doesn't make any sense because I have the Pan Digital Planet and it's totally fine on it. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of strange. So yeah, I got the other Google uh, Maps, uh, like the Google Apps going on here because you got to install all those to get the uh, Android market working. So yeah, these st these seem to be working fine. You've got the satellite view, street view, stuff like that. That seems to be working fine. GPS, I haven't gotten that to connect yet. I don't think it's going to work. I don't know. Um, it always says unable to connect. Um, so yeah, I uh, got the Dolphin browser installed. Um, I like it a lot better than the regular Android browser. And of course, you got the Gmail app. Uh, so what everything else... Um, still works. Uh, you also get this YouTube app. Uh, it didn't work at first and then I went ahead and installed the update from the Android market and so it works well now. Um, so yeah, you got all the regular Pan Digital apps are still on here. You got the InTouch. That was the uh, news app where you get your uh, news updates in here. Um, the Barnes & Noble app, it still works. So uh, yeah, um, the, the, the widget that you saw there that still works. The buttons still work. So like the search button, it works to turn pages in this app but it doesn't like it doesn't work for like regular Android buttons. I mean, like if you just come to the home screen, hit search button, it doesn't bring up the search bar. Um, so you gotta actually use the Google search bar. There's like a widget for it somewhere. Um, I guess I didn't have it on here. Um, so yeah, there it is. Uh, yeah, so the search button doesn't actually work like I was saying either. But it does work on the apps that it's set up for. So like if you hook it up to your TV and the HDMI app, the the um, uh, settings uh, or the search button will actually work. It just doesn't seem to do the uh, bring up the search icons like uh, it usually does. Okay, so like you can see here, I've got these other apps installed. When you um, root it, it installs these, um, you know, the super user app. And then once you install the Google apps, you'll get the uh, the Google apps for like, you know, the apps, the, the market, and the Google search and all that kind of stuff. And then you can just go ahead and download to your heart's content from the Android market. So yeah, that's just sort of a brief, quick look at the Pan Digital Nova uh, rooted with the uh, Android apps on here with the uh, market and um, all that. So uh, check out the ebookreader.com. I have the directions on there if you want to check it out. Um, thank you for watching.